Hi, I'm Senior Airman John Mullaney with the 143rd Airlift Wing. I'm an Electrical Environmental Systems Specialist. The favorite part of my job is knowing that you have a hand fixing the aircraft. Uh, anytime the aircraft is broken or down, you get it fixed and uh, flying again, it's a, it's a great satisfaction. What's unique uh, working at the 143rd Airlift on the C-130Js is we are heavily tasked, whether it's deployments, whether it's helping uh, hurricane relief missions, it seems like there's always a need for the C-130J and we're one of the top maintenance groups in the country. Being an electrical environmental system specialist, there really isn't anything we don't touch on the aircraft, from electrical wiring systems to fire extinguishing systems, fire detection systems, anti-skid and landing gear components, liquid oxygen systems, cabin pressurization, heating and air conditioning on the aircraft, interior exterior lighting, uh, we really do it all. So my civilian job, I work for Lidos at the Naval Undersea Warfare Center, and I uh, troubleshoot and repair submarine towed array systems. So having the job at Quonset uh, definitely helped with my civilian job. I already had the security clearance available to work at the Naval Undersea Warfare Center and I had the electrical experience to fix the towed array systems. I've been on multiple TDYs, uh, multiple MRTs to fix aircraft that are broken in other parts of the country. I was fortunate enough to deploy for the Hurricane Maria missions to the smaller surrounding islands of Puerto Rico. Uh, flying into the hurricane was definitely an interesting event, but it also was beneficial knowing that you were making a difference uh, helping people. I needed it. The type of person who would join electrical environmental systems uh, would be a good problem solver, quick and eager to learn, someone who works good under pressure, and someone who wants to make a difference. Uh, I really enjoy what I do. I've been doing this for almost six years now, and um, I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, it's been one of the best decisions I've ever made. The B-1 is full of intricate systems that help the pilots better perform their mission. As such, they rely on the electrical systems to stay functional. It's a massive amount of, that we do for this aircraft. So, um, a lot of the stuff, other systems rely on us for it, as well as the crew. It's said stating with oxygen, air conditioning, pressurization. They won't be able to fly the aircraft unless that's all good. A lot of parts rely on our system to function properly as well. Not only does the Ellsworth Electrical and Environmental System Shop ensure the aircraft is operational, they have also found a more efficient way to do so. Ellsworth E&E Airmen recently developed a new program using an eclipse tester that can turn a 10-hour ops check of an electrical system into a 10-minute process. Instead of the tedious process of checking each wire and switch individually, the program walks each user through the process and checks the voltage automatically. Using the new system saves the Air Force over 4,200 man-hours and saves Ellsworth and Dias Air Force bases, who also use the Eclipse Tester, over $428,000 each year. It's great knowing that we can test these instead of having one person here for a whole shift testing one thing, we can now test it quickly so that way we can be able to go out and do other stuff that is needed with us instead of just bogging us down with off checks. Continuous process improvement, where making every dollar and man hour count, is a top priority of the United States Air Force. And processes like the Eclipse system help our airmen focus on the full spectrum of their career fields. Airman First Class Nathaniel Miller. I am an e and &E specialist, electrical and environmental. I work on the electrical systems of the aircraft and the environmental, which includes uh, the air conditioning and pressurization. I wanted to join the Air Force for pride of my country and to uh, support the mission of freedom. You gotta try not to let that thing fall in the oil because it's nasty. And then once it's about done, you're gonna look in there to see if you see any signs of water or anything. I came in open electrical and uh, I had no idea what E&E was when I got the assignment, but definitely glad I did enjoy it very much. I guess my biggest challenge would be being the new guy in the shop and having to live up to the expectations of all the career Air Force guys in there. At the end of the day, when it's time to go home, it definitely feels good knowing that uh, I helped support the mission and put the jets in the air. Senior Airman Dennis Alexander is an electrical environmental journeyman in the 509th Maintenance Squadron at Whiteman Air Force Base. He repairs, troubleshoots, installs, and removes parts on all aircraft at Whiteman. From maintaining life support systems to repairing wiring, the electrical environmental airmen play a vital role in keeping air crews safe and aircraft flying. Let's say swapping out fan filters, conduits, things like that. 
I, I know that I'm directly helping getting the jet back up and operating. One of my favorite things I guess I personally had my hand in was pinning and depinning conduits. I feel like I'm the best in the shop at doing that. It, it's hard, but I think most um, most rewarding. It's, it's hard work, but I think that's where we have the most impact is during phase jet conduits and part swaps. I see components that are removed from a jet and then I fix them and put them back into a supply point. So the hands-on part of the jet, I don't see too much, but I know that the parts are being used. We have a select amount of numbers, but any parts that need to be replaced was fixed by us. We have, a, we have a direct hand in everything they do. Uh, my name is Senior, I'm Jacob Perry, and I'm an e, e technician. So my job consists of maintaining various electrical and environmental systems on the aircraft, including oxygen, lighting, um, bleed air, things like that. So today we worked on uh, doing a leak check of a LOX cart that was written up that there was a leak. Uh, we did a little bit of service on it, just tightening it on the valve. Uh, a few days ago and then they filled it up a little bit so we can do our leak check today. I enjoy working on the C-130. It's a lot different than what I came from which was A-10's fighters and it's a lot bigger and there's systems such as locks that we didn't have so there's a lot to learn but I've enjoyed it and I've enjoyed the learning process of it all.